Today, me and our lass are off up to Barnsley to sort out a rental property that's been left in a right state. So we've got to go up to Barnsley because one of the rental houses has been trashed when the tenants have left. Now it's costing us 40 quid a day to drive there and that's at 60 mile an hour in the little van. So we decided to do a bit of urban camping. We're going to head up, spend the day there painting, scrubbing, cleaning, generally just sorting it out. Spend the night there. Then we're there crack of dawn the next day instead of having to travel up again. Have another day of painting, sorting, generally sorting it out, and then come home. First job on the agenda is we've got to go to B&Q to get bucket loads of paint, filler, decorator's cork, and a new oven and hob. It's that bad. Well, we've arrived at B&Q, been stopped by... He's gone now before I got the camera out, but... Lee over there, he's just uh, he's a, an avid follower by the sounds of it. He, he stopped us in the car park, wanted to have a good chat with us. Uh, we're going to head into BQ, get a few supplies for the Deathly house, and then uh, mm, go get cracking. Just shy of 400 quid in BQ. Being a landlord is about as much fun as two fake. I don't even know if I'm going to get this oven in the van. Well, she's in just, I've had to take the table off. Not a builder's van. Well, it's today. Next stop, the house. We've got some life hacks to show you. We've got a carpet saturated in dog urine. It's proper grim. And we're going to spend the next 48 hours trying to sort it out a little bit. We've arrived at our urban camp spot for the night. Beautiful field over there that we can walk the dogs on later on and in the morning. I'll show you the house from what we're going to be tackling over the next 48 hours. And we're only going to put a dint in it. I've already ripped the carpets up in the front room because they were saturated in dog piss. Don't swear. Don't swear. Can't help it. We've overhauled the garden. as we were brought out for you dogs. But today we're going to be tackling upstairs. Now there's three bedrooms and a bathroom. These are the least smelly rooms of the house. Mainly because we've already been and ripped again all of the carpets up. Got a floorboard to repair. But we've got all this just to sort out. Lots of paint in. Hopefully we're gonna we've we've found a life hack because we ain't got a, a roller, so we've been given a life hack for getting all this wallpaper off so we can get it repainted ready for the next tenants. Beautiful camper van packed outside, must be a good area. And then the third bedroom again. Wallpaper to remove, so I hope that life hack works well. We need to get all this laminate floor up. This had carpet on top of this, but again, we've ripped the carpet up, all the laminate needs taken up, so we'll try and get that done today as well. Then we need to find somewhere to eat dinner, somewhere to eat tea, because I don't really want to prepare any food in this house because the oven is about this thick in grime on every wall. I've never seen anything like it. It is rancid. I've got a strong stomach but even tearing that carpet up I had to go buy some marigolds. It was like if you got a hamster cage and then got a tiny dog and locked it in the hamster cage with the hamster for a year and then let it fester in a warm building. That's what the house smelled like when we first came in. Kerry's going to try the life hack. We've got no wallpaper stripper, but apparently if you get a roller and roll it up and down and leave it for two minutes, then it just peels off. So we're going to give it a go. six o'clock at night now and I think we've done pretty well so far and we're going to carry on into the night but up to now we've got all the wallpaper stripped in here all this manky laminate up 
I, I don't know why there's a, a wet patch there. At this point, it could be anything. This room is all prepped. Man. The beauty of having family in bands lately, my auntie Sandra's been round and brought us some ladders because we couldn't reach the ceilings. My auntie Diane's been round and done all the cutting in, in this room and the other room for us, so that's all cut in. I've started doing the ceiling. Making really good progress, but we've stopped now because the dogs needed to have some dinner and we've ordered a Toby Carvery, but we won't be eating it in the house. That's why we brought the van. Eating in luxury. Down the stairs, Kerry's been grafting in the kitchen. Oh, I wish I'd have shown them the underneath that cupboard before it started. Oh, you have to put a picture on. I'll have to put a picture on. But it's white now. I think all the worktops are going to need replacing. I don't think you can really see that, but oh, yeah, all scratched. And that is all scratched and worn. I don't know. You can tell the difference from there to there. There's the uh, copper top. It's getting. Oh yeah, this is this is this is tasty. This is actually fat, dripping. So so much work left to do. We don't get this in Barton. Order to just eat. Toby Carvery. Pigs in blankets, gravy, massive Yorkshires, some veggie stuff. It's half past ten at night. We've painted all the ceilings upstairs, painted one of the bedrooms, which doesn't look great. Something's reacting, we've done something wrong with the prep. It's getting far too late to be bothered now, so we're gonna what we're gonna do? Go to bed. Watch some Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. That is the plan. <laughs> Kerry's Kerry's done a cracking effort with the kitchen. Uh, I don't know if I showed you a good pan around of the kitchen before we started, but it's clean. Ish. It's, it's getting there. There's so much work to do on this house. Thankfully, you're only here for today and tomorrow. Otherwise, you'd be as bored as I am with this house. To the dogs for a quick walk, I think, and then uh, get our heads down because we've got another full day of it tomorrow. I've dropped about half a gallon of paint on my foot. Peach has been eating it. Come here. Show them, show them. Peach, show them. She thinks it's ice cream. Them two idiots have been asleep for the last two hours while we've been uh, painting. Now they've decided they want to run around like idiots. Well, that's the sight you don't see every day. I hope everybody's all right. The hospital's literally at the end of the road, so. Yeah, that's a bit worrying. Well, it was an odd night's sleep last night. I don't think either of us were really happy up there. Not sure if it was because it's so warm it felt extra claustrophobic or the fact that we was doing a bit of urban camping and there's just constant noise all night. Especially with us being right near the hospital. This morning, there was like every nurse and doctor at Barnsley Hospital parking on this street. So it was really busy from early doors. But we're gonna get cracked on now, back in the house, get some painting done and hopefully get this one over and done with. Now we're just reheating last night's Toby Carberry leftovers for dinner and then we're going to stop boring you with time-lapse videos of paint drying, give you the big reveal before we drive home. 